Hijirohama, the crystallization of strength and the pinnacle of physical force, also being described as the strongest creature on Earth, and gained the nickname the Ogre. How strong is Hama? Even early on within the series, he was shown to be pretty, a, a pretty a big man, breaking honey on his legs and destroying his arms in general. Yujiro was also shown destroying the head of the Asha ape. The Asha ape is a species of apes that we could say they're comparable if not stronger than the silverback gorilla, with Hanayama at the time being described as stronger than the Asha ape by Baki. Yujiro was shown crushing a bunch of coal powder, and was shown turning it into a bunch of diamonds, and was shown killing wild animals like a water buffalo. Not to mention, an illusion of Yujiro was capable of hitting Baki so hard that people several blocks away thought it was an earthquake. Mind you, Baki was able to create illusions that are damn near accurate to, to the people he, he is making illusions about, so it's not unrealistic to think Yujiro can do something like this. So, I have tried calculating this feat, which the calc will be down below if you want to check it out. I got the low end of the energy output to be around 6.64 tons of TNT and the high end to be around 210.23 tons of TNT, or in other words, large building level to multi-city block level. Miyamoto Mashashi described the Jiro's body as if it was impenetrable armor and talked about how even he couldn't pierce it. Donald Trump claimed that the Jiro was above all the latest in military tech and it was described in a conversation between the Democratic Party, General Secretary, and the Prime Minister that not even the strongest weapons of an entire nation could defeat Yujiro. Obama said that Yujiro's fists are stronger than a nuclear impact and is the most dangerous man on the planet. Even Yujiro's character profile says that he is stronger than a nuke. Depending on the country, according to you know, some articles, nukes can produce an explosive yield of a of around 300 to 800 kilotons, with the strongest nuke ever created, producing 50 megatons. Now, some people might say this is hyperbole and he hasn't produced any feats that's considered to be on this level, but considering the time he stopped a fucking earthquake if it was nothing, that's, pr that's feats pretty damn near an explosive yield of a nuke. I say this because I was able to calculate this feed on my Discord, which you should join, getting the low end to 15.3 kilotons, the mid end to 484 kilotons, and the high end to 15.3 megatons. This earthquake feed is considered to be, by the fans anyway, to be the best standalone feed Ujero has, and considering that even the low end is somewhat approaching the kiloton range, well, is in the kiloton range, and the mid-end is already between the 300 and 800 kiloton range, it really makes you consider whether or not those nuclear bomb statements really are hyperbole. Plus, there is a statement that describing Yujiro getting stronger every day, so we can assume that nowadays he's far stronger than he was performing that feat, but we just don't know by how much. Yujiro was actually able to physically overpower and match and just overall one shot Biscuit Oliva. Biscuit Oliva is stronger or should at least be comparable to Garland, who was shown to have a large building the city block level feat during the Maximum Torment at Dark. During Oliva's battle with Doyle in the police station, he called Earthquake, which you might be able to argue this feat was a small town level feat. When it comes to Oliva's training, he used a mass fast helicopter to do some weight training. People over a year ago tried arguing Oliva being small country level due to the fact that he hit another character so hard it affected the world, quote unquote, using GPSs to support their argument. But the thing is, this small country level scaling is a bit iffy. The reason why GPS is in series during this fight went crazy is due to the fact that Oliva went beyond the speed limit of the satellites that were targeting them. 
If you don't know, satellites target Oliva, Ujero, and a few others. If any of them went beyond 6 kilometers an hour, over half the satellite systems in the world will be affected and will make the GPSs go crazy. This, that's why the GPSs went mad, not because Oliva went gigachad mode and caused an earthquake around the world. There's also the fact that Ujero has the demon back, which is so goddamn manly that was able to make characters like Baki cry, basically, and turn away in horror when he's seen it during a fight which Ujero had in a tournament. Ujero is also very skilled at like martial arts and everything. It's the point where he can master any techniques very easily. An example of this is after seeing Shao Li once, he pulled the big dick move and basically mastered it instantly. He also explained the technique in depth. Yujiro apparently knows every martial arts in the world, being able to easily explain multiple martial arts to characters like Stroheim. You can even encounter completely self-made styles. And just by looking at someone, Yujiro can 100% accurately the detect any weakness they have, vital points, injuries, or anything else, down to a very cellular level. So at the end of the day, Yujiro is an extremely strong character in his own right, and saying that he's a skilled martial artist is a understatement, concerning what I mentioned. Yujiro is scaling anywhere from city level at the most, and town level level at the very least. If he was being put against any character in a, a fight in terms of just pure martial arts skill, there's a 9 out of 10 chance that he actually might win. But yeah, that's about it. See ya.